Good morning, Maddikies. Today is June 16th. It is a day five. It is a, our last full day of school for the 2021 school year. Can everyone please stand for a Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for our moment of silence. Thank you, you may be seated. Today's hot lunch is pizza Wednesday. So we got pizza today, garden salad, sun butter and fluff, and then sun butter and jelly. So with it being our last day of school lunch, um, we have pizza today. So if you're placing an order, place it this morning and we will get it to you on time. Today, um, we have an award ceremony and then we have a special treat in the afternoon for all of you that you'll be going outside for. Um, so that's that. those are the events of today. And then tomorrow we have yearbook signing and um, some field day awards. So fun filled pack two day and a half still to go. Uh, so just make sure you're listening to your teachers on where you should be heading and how you should be doing it appropriately. Yearbooks. So if you order your yearbooks, they're all ready for you in uh, morning light. So you can pick those up. Yearbook signing will be tomorrow. So um, make sure that you have it tomorrow with you. And if you would like a yearbook, I know there are a few still available. Um, you'd have to talk to Miss Riolo about that or your advisory teacher. And that's pretty much what we have for our morning announcements. Uh, Mr. Switzer wants to add one thing, but I also want to give a shout out to bus number 16. Um, their driver stopped me the other day and asked uh, for me to give them a shout out because they've been doing so well recently. So uh, shout out to bus number 16. Job well done. Uh, really appreciate it throughout the year and stuff like that. So Mr. Switzer, you want to end? Sure. I just kind of wanted to do a quick recap on yesterday. Um, it was a really busy day, action packed, and it was brand new to all of us doing it in that style as so many things have been this year. Uh, but it opened up a world of opportunities. Um, first of all, big shout out to Miss Howe and Miss Smith um, for the organization and detail and thinking of every little thing that could go wrong to prevent it ahead of time and it kind of it went off without a hitch um there were supports in place and just appreciate all the teachers and students being you know respectful to all the professionals and for some perspective you know we have 50 professionals zooming into our school from within all four time zones of the united states we have people in atlanta iowa city california of course tons of people in massachusetts and just to have that kind of perspective it's I was talking to one of my buddies last night who Zoomed Miss Travato and Miss uh, Christopher's class. And it's just so wild to think about the fact that we're hearing from these people from all over the world and they can be here with us. And that's what Zoom allows. Um, I hope that you took away a couple things, which is just that there are a lot of people out there who enjoy their day to day jobs. Um, I love my job and I hope you find something that you love to do. And uh, just there are, I hope you learned that there are a lot of options of things to do. Um, to make a living that you can enjoy uh, beyond maybe what you initially think of as just the obvious jobs that we know about. There's a lot of different things you can do. Um, so it was just a great day and uh, thanks everybody for participating. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Switzer. Um, so we are going to have an, uh, an award ceremony um, shortly for the honor roll and high honors and a few auxiliary awards. Um, we're gonna wait probably like five minutes. So if, if you keep your Zoom up or this meeting up right now, that would be great. Um, we just wanna make sure that all of our um, people that are providing awards are here and everything like that. So if you just keep it up, I'm gonna turn off my camera for a little bit and then we'll uh, get back on to do those honors, high honors awards. All right, talk to you soon.
Good morning, Maddie's Once again, um, I would like to start off with our um, welcome this morning. Good morning, Maddie's community. I'm Mr. Bovino, as many of you know, principal here at Maddie's. We hope you're all excited to be with us today on our last full day of classes for the 2021 school year. We are glad you are here with us this morning for our fourth live streamed award ceremony. Today, we are very excited to recognize many different students. We will be recognizing our honors and high honor students from our third trimester uh, to start off our ceremony. In order to qualify for honors, students will have needed to achieve a B minus or higher in all subject areas. In order to qualify for high honors, students will have needed to achieve an A minus or better in all subjects. Today, we will also be presenting a variety of other awards selected by our staff members. These awards will be given out in person. If you are a remote student and you have received an award, please feel free to come to our office and pick it up. If you are unable to do that, we will send it, mail it home to you. We know this year hasn't been like any other year in education. As I have done in the past, I would like to provide you with a quote. Education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Malcolm X. This past year, everyone has worked so hard to prepare for their future. We would like to congratulate everyone for all their efforts this past year. At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Gunning, our attendance supervisor, to present this year's Perfect Attendance Awards. All right, thank you, Mr. Bavino. I'm gonna do the sixth grade first and then the seventh grade. But just a word about perfect attendance. Of all the years we've had, this is a year where if you had perfect attendance through all the things we had to go through this year, you get special bonus points. And to the rest of you students, I just wanna say, um, if you invite any of these students to your birthday party, I guarantee they're coming because these people come through anything. All right, for the sixth grade, we start off with Peter Antonini. Juliana D'Souza, Madeline Dempsey, Shelby Jones, Felix Liu, Kelly Martin, Patricia Newell, Alexis Sears, Caden Sullivan, Carlos Vargas, James Williams, and Leah Woodward. That's the sixth grade. For the seventh grade, Edward, I'm never absent, Angie Alillo, Caleb Blinn Conti, Jack Patello, Alana Carnegie, Abigail Conover, Gabriel D'Souza, Cairo Dos Santos, Gianna Gomes, Tori Ann Gordon, Riley Kimball, Kylie Lasco, Alexander Laguerre, a little bit of a French accent there, Murphy Martin, Emma Everyday Reno, Samuel Stanton, Kristen, don't call me tardy, Taloma. And last but not least, Brooke Win uh, Woodward. Congratulations, this is quite a feat this year. Thank you very much. Next up will be Miss Burns, who will be giving out uh, high honors and honors awards. Miss Burns. Thank you, Mr. Gunning. Okay, so I'm gonna start with our honors for Miss Bryan, so this is C5. So for honors, we have Ethan Bailey, Shauna Baker, Brooke Basaglia, Lily Case, Jenna Richard, Jackson Sherman, Kate Snowden. And for high honors, we have Alexa Buren, Brooke Chicoin, Camille Dupuy, Felix Liu, Shay McSherry, Hannah Ryan, Lexis Sears, and Lewis, Lucas Texier. 
Great job in C5, everybody. For Ms. Christophers, we have for honors, Caroline Cook, Lara Costa, Kaya Dubois, Annabelle Law, Jadaya Miller. And for high honors, Daniel D'Souza. Great job, Ms. Christopher's advisory. Good morning. Okay, Ms. Greers, for honors, we have Peter Antonini, James Williams. And for high honors, Samantha Klein, Madeline Dempsey, and Evelyn Pendleton. Great job for Ms. Greer's advisory. For Ms. Ipkovich, we have Zoe Farencombe, Andre Fuller, Jacob Landers Grazer, Callie McPartland, Christy Jo Salmon, and for high honors, Kanisha Brown and Braxton Sakira. Great job, Ms. Ipkovich. Okay, for Mrs. Cochin, we have for honors Kyle Gaw, Pierce Johnson, Colin Kinahan, and John Richard. And for high honors, we have Max Bleak, Elise Bridges. Juliana D'Souza and Landon Richter. Great job in C2 this year, guys. Okay, moving down to Mr. Monroe's. So for honors, we have Adonis Valchu Rose, and for high honors, Macarius Powell. Mr. Novoychek, we have for honors Brady Leidenfrost, Bruno Wilk Fernandes, and Jason Panetta Landaverdi. And for high honors, London Karen, Kelly Martin, Lincoln Slade, Sophia Sukami, Marissa Texera, and Leah Woodward. Great job, Ms. Novoychek's class. Ms. Persicillos, for honors, we have Ember Christophers and Wyatt Healy. And for high honors, Ben Soltis. Ms. Rafferty's, we have for honors, Kaylee Brown, and Katherine Krukowski. Great job for Ms. Rafferty's as well. Okay, moving on to Ms. Travados. We have for honors, Nicholas Barroso, Kira Butler, Michaela Kreiser, and Kayla Steed. And for Ms. Tuckers, we have for honors, Elizabeth Mendiola, Colin Orman, Sophia Riker, and Jacob Vieira. And for high honors, Skyland Clady, Richard Delcourt, and Andrew Finn. Great job, everybody. And I just want to say I'm personally really proud of all of you guys. You really showed some perseverance for a really challenging year. And I'm really proud of all you've done throughout the year. So congratulations to you guys. Welcome to seventh grade. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Burns. Uh, again, congratulations to all of our sixth grade students that have worked so hard this past trimester. You all showed a level of commitment and determination that is honorable. Congratulations again. At this time, I'd like to introduce Mr. Switzer to present the seventh grade honors and high honor um, awards. All right, thanks Mr. Vino. What is up? This is the sixth and last time I'll do this with this crew. Uh, and then you are off to high school. So, so many of you, I'll read your name for the sixth time and that's really a, a really a big achievement. So. Honors and high honors. Honors from Mrs. Carey's home room, Clifferson Arades Panto, Deshani Baker, and Logan Joy. High honors, Abigail Conover and Reed Pullen. From Mr. Dadman's home room, honors, Jack Patello and Riley Kimball. High honors, Ian Gatutis. From Ms. Doherty's home room, Honors, Janiah Gomes, and high honors, Cairo Dos Santos. From Ms. Follin's homeroom, honors, Austin De Silva. From Mr. Gogol's homeroom, honors, Elena Manuel, Rosanna Meredith, Mercy Montagna, Catherine Popovich. From, can Mr. Reno, can you just scroll down a little more? Okay, yeah. Mr. Hoffman's homeroom, honors. Logan Bird, Charlotte Colton, Gavin Desley, Griffin Andres, Aubrey Fleming, Zoe Logan. And high honors, for the last time, 
Edward Angioli. Edward A. Sam Caldwell. Samuel Caldwell. Ariana Corso. Oliver Dodo. And Dwayne Jarry. Murphy Martin. Rowan Mercurio. And Savannah Roy. Honors from Miss Powers Group. Sarah Soares. Honors from Miss Purcell's homeroom. Jacob Poor. Tiffany Vargas, and high honors for Ms. Purcell's Ava DeBreo. For Mr. Sutherland's homeroom, honors Gabriella DaCosta, Alexander LaGuerra, Kayla O'Connell, Alondra Roberte Ortiz, Graham Silvestro, Alyssa Silvia, Salome Zapata, and high honors William Macknick, Kira McKinnon, Maximus Ross and Brooke Woodward. From Mr. Ventola's homeroom, honors Michael Hinckley and Brody Riolo. From Ms. Bose's homeroom, honors Venetius de Oliveria. From Ms. Wood, without an S, Ms. Wood, so apostrophe. Uh, Ms. Wood's homeroom, honors. Caleb Blinn Conti, Riley Caruso, Anthony Cunningham. And now Miss Woods homeroom, like the S is part of the name. Miss Woods homeroom. Honors, Caitlin Clark, Marcelia Dapina, Bailey Egan, Kelsong Gurong, Kira Horn, and Bailey Kent, and Emma Reno. Congratulations to all the seventh graders who achieve high honor roll and honor roll this trimester. Best of luck next year in eighth grade. Uh, you're gonna do great stuff at DY High School, all of you. And uh, it was really nice seeing you grow over the last two years. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Switzer. Uh, again, congratulations to the seventh grade students. You've done amazing here at Mattakey's the past two years. Please keep up all the hard work and effort that you have done here as you continue on with your education. Um, uh, we here at Mattakees understand that not all learning happens in the classroom though. Our students learn in a variety of places throughout the building and through a variety of experiences they have here at Mattakees. This year has been no different in that regard. At this time, I would like to present the Dennis Yarmouth Parent Band Parents Award. The Dennis Yarmouth Band Parent Award is, um, which is a camp, campership for a seventh grader who pursue band at the Dennis Yarmouth Regional High School um, is presented to Abby Conover. Congratulations, Abby. Um, we have that award for, uh, Mr. Graff actually has that award for you. At this time, I would like to recognize our seventh grade ambassadors. Our ambassadors here at Mattakees take a leadership role. They provide tours for our students incoming and for our um, incoming sixth grade last year during the summer. They've all really helped out with planning some variety of activities throughout the year. So first off, Clifferson Andres Pinto, Edward Angelillo, James Barnacle, Nadia Sequera, Abby Conover, Ariana Corso, Aubrey Fleming, Kelsong Gurong, Marcy Jokum, Zoe Logan, Chelsea Meredith, Rosanna Meredith, and Ben Rondina. Thank you for your leadership. Please remember to always be a leader and um, shoot for the stars. Now I would like to present the overall athlete of the year. Athletics this year has been different, just like any, everything else this year. Um, for the fall and winter season, we were only able to have intramurals, which is all in-house um, teams. In, um, for the spring season, we were able to have a regular spring season. So that was wonderful to have. For our 
for these athletes, the criteria is that they had to participate in at least two seasons. Um, they conducted themselves as excellent citizens on the athletic field, and they were always committed and persevered um, while, you know, throughout competition. At this time, I'd like to present the award to James Barnacle and Emma Rainio. So congratulations, James and Emma. Um, those awards are down here in the main office um, for you to pick up after the, the award ceremony. At this time, I would like to introduce Miss Burns to present the Carolyn Kelly Award. Ms. Burns, you're muted. Sorry, let's start that over. So this award was donated to our school district by the estate of Gladys Kelly in 1984 to establish a scholarship in the name of her late daughter, Carolyn Kelly. And this year, this scholarship has been given to Rowan Poole. Congratulations, Rowan. You can come down and pick that up later today. Great job. Okay, the next award is for Kim Oliver's Persistence to Achieve Award. And this award is to honor a seventh grader who exemplifies Ms. Oliver's spirit and belief that all students can succeed, even in the face of difficulties. This student set his star high, persevered, and is on his way to greater future successes. This recipient of this award this year is Antonio Texera Nito. Congratulations, Antonio. And the next achievement award is the President's Outstanding Academic Achievement Award. And these recognize students that show understanding of educational, outstanding educational growth, improvement and commitment despite various obstacles here at Mattakees. And there was definitely a lot of obstacles this year. And these awards for this year go to Riley Kimball, Tiago Machado, and Tiffany Vargas. Congratulations to you all. All right. The President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Award. This award recognizes academic success in the classroom. The following students maintained an A average for both sixth and seventh grade combined. They have shown outstanding academic achievement and have demonstrated high motivation and initiative in their time here at Mattakees. The three students receiving this award today who have earned it, Ava DeBreo, Maximus Ross and Brooke Woodward. Congratulations. The PBIS Award recipient of the year. This individual received the most number of shout outs by his or her peers, as well as his or her teachers. And this year's award goes to Anthony Cunningham. Congratulations, Anthony. I also have to add in for sixth grade, Kevin Kelly. So Kevin Kelly, you also received the PBIS award. Congratulations for the most number of shout outs in sixth grade. Um, at this time, I am going to present the MSAA award. As the principal of the building, I have the privilege of awarding the Massachusetts School Administration Association Award. This award recognizes a student who exemplifies wellness, sportsmanship, leadership, and community service. This individual willingly provides tours to willingly provided tours to our new EL students and made, made them feel welcome when they arrived at Mattakees for the first time. She has received honors every uh, semester while here at Mattakees in both sixth and seventh grade. She has had exceptional attendance and is always willing to help in any way she can to make the school community at Mattakees better. Congratulations to Sarah Soares for the MSAA award. Mr. Switzer. Okay, to wrap up our morning ceremony, we would like to recognize a really uh, unique and important individual to our school. And we have a couple special guests here to uh, present this award. Uh, so 
I would like to introduce our assistant superintendent uh, of pupil services, uh, Ms. Maria Lopes, and Ms. Julia Johnson, who is a very active community member and has done a great deal for the DUI district over the years. Uh, she's been involved on a ton of committees that I've been with, and she's a big advocate for supporting diversity within our schools and supporting all students and staff. Um, and so Ms. Johnson and Ms. Lopes, we really thank you both for being here and doing this with us. Um, Ms. Lopes, I'm gonna let you take it away. Thank you, good morning, middle school. Today, I'm going to recognize Rose Ann Emeritus in recognition for her outstanding contributions to the Maddox East Middle School by forming the POC Club and her relentless pursuit of equality for all students in the Dennis Yarmouth Regional School District. Way to go. Rosanna, we have a really nice award for you to come down and collect. So please come down after this. Um, we really felt strongly that Rosanna needed to be recognized because um, she's somebody who has left a legacy here um, that not every student does. And when she moves on, that club will exist and continue to work for equality and equity among, among all students. Ms. Johnson, did you have any words that you wanted to add? Just that I think it's wonderful that this young woman has taken this initiative and set up something that is going to help Mattake students across the board. Thank you so much, Rosanna. That's wonderful. Thank you, Ms. Johnson. In closing this morning, I would like to thank you. As I mentioned in both the fall and winter ceremonies to the parents, thank you for supporting us. Thank you for having confidence in us. Thank you for entrusting your child's safety to us. We have made it. The year 2021 is behind us and we look forward to new adventures and new accomplishments. We as a school community look forward to hearing about all the amazing accomplishments of our seventh grade students achieve in the future. We look to our sixth grade students now to be our leaders here at Mattakees, to be the role models for the new incoming students next fall. Again, congratulations to all the recipients that have received awards. You have shown great determination and have made us all here at Mattake is very proud. If you received um, seventh graders, if you received an extra award this morning, uh, please make sure to make your way down to the main office this morning. Those awards are still in my office. I would like to present them to you personally. So um, please make your way down here this, at some time this morning and I will provide you with that award. Um, and that's all we have. So congratulations, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Um, later on, you'll be doing some another small award ceremony with your team of students and team of teachers. And then, as I said, after lunch, we have a special surprise for all of you um, outside. So see you all around the building today and enjoy your last full day of school.